everyone. In this video, we're going to cover everything to do with your family in Ottawa, Canada during the winter. But first, show, show reel, reel. Hit, hit it! it. Ottawa, known for its striking historical landmarks and some of the most beautiful sceneries in the world, you'll be hard pressed to come up with a list of negatives when considering relocating to this picturesque capital city. For some, the Ottawa climate is a big factor when deciding to make the move, or not. If you ask some of the locals around the city, you'll probably hear a few grumbles about how bitterly cold the winters can get, but also those who embrace the snowy months and all the activities this northerly city has to offer. In this video, I'm going to share with you that living in Ottawa during winter looks like and stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to share my top five hacks that will actually have you looking forward to this first snowfall of the season. So what does living in Ottawa during the winter really look like? Well number one, winter commutes. Ottawa is characterized as an urban sprawl. The population density of the city ranks 16th in all of Canada while being the fourth largest city in Canada with a good chunk of the population living in the neighboring suburban areas just outside the city's downtown core. This means, depending on where you live and where you work, commute times will vary. Now, rush hour typically is between 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 3.30 to 5.30 with traffic jams, but that was pre-COVID. Usually we've seen the worst of this in the downtown core to the west end side, and the east also has some of it. Add snow to the mix, and you can expect the commute to take anywhere between 40 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on where you live and work. However, for many who have previously lived in high density cities like Toronto, traffic in Ottawa is comparably mild. And public transportation in the wintertime can be a hit or miss. Buses can be packed during rush hours, and sometimes you can expect face delays or no-shows. Certain routes are more reliable than others. Depending on where you live during your commute hours, you can expect a bus to show up every 10 to 15 minutes. There are also express buses that run during this time that connects downtown locations with more local routes in the suburbs. With buses having de dedicated lanes, many people who live in suburban areas like Canada and Barhaven will choose a bus over driving to work to save time on rush hour commuting by car, but also to save on parking costs. With the completed phase one of the LRT system in Ottawa, the system is greatly improved since its launch and work on phase two is already beginning. You'll want to dress warmly if you plan for taking public transportation though, just to be safe. Want to learn more about the neighborhoods in Ottawa? You can check out the rest of our playlist on neighborhoods just up here. So click on that link and it'll be taken to the playlist. Number two, taking care of your home in the winter. From shoveling your driveway to preventing freezing pipes, you'll want to create a winter home maintenance checklist to avoid any unexpected home surprises. Feel free to reach out to us. We've actually created one and we're happy to share it. However, if you choose to live in the condo, such as these over here, where you have a condo strata property, you're likely to have a property manager take care of all this for you. Number three, living costs during the winter. You can expect living costs in Ottawa during the winter time to be relatively the same as the warmer months. The expenses put into running your heater is on par with running your AC during the summer heat. And if your housing has electrical baseboard heater instead of central air system, you'll want to keep an eye on that energy bill just as a precaution because that bill can rise rather quickly. Unless you choose to hire a driveway snow removal service, there aren't too many other costs you can expect that's winter specific. But I highly recommend getting a snowblower to get you through the winter here in Ottawa. For years, I would actually hand shovel my large, long driveway, and it became a real pain in the butt, but it took some time. But I looked at it like a workout. But about two years ago, I said, forget that, and I purchased a brand new, beautiful snowblower, and I haven't had a problem since. In fact, I take care of a lot of my elderly neighbors' laneways and walkways, because, well, that's just the Canadian thing to do, eh? Number four, there are tons of new activities to do. A change in the season means a change in activities to do. There is something just so amazing that happens when the environment around you changes. If you enjoy paddling on the Rideau Canal during the summer months, now you can enjoy skating on it. If you enjoyed biking along the Capital Pathways, now you can enjoy cross-country skiing on it. There are a ton of forest pathways just outside the city for you to drive out to enjoy an afternoon of snowmobiling too. 
If you've ever been to Le Nordique Spa during the summer, just wait until you visit it during the winter. You'll never experience something as truly magical and relaxing until you're sitting in a hot tub and experiencing the outdoor winter scene around you. Winter also means Winterlude, a flagship event that happens every February here in the city since 1979 to celebrate the experience of Canada's northern culture and climate. From ice sculptures to skating rinks scattered around the national sites and live performances is three weeks of pure magic. You won't want to miss out. Don't worry, I have five hacks that will make the colder months more enjoyable and a season to look forward to. Number one, get out there and become a tourist. Explore all the winter festivities and activities the city has to offer. Ottawa has a ton of events put on by the NCC, which is the National Capital Commission, and the City of Ottawa also helps out. From Winterloo to skating through a forest at Lac Loop, you'll be wishing to winter in the dead summer heat. Number two, find a winter sport that you love. Whether you enjoy skating, tobogganing, snowshoeing, skiing, snowboarding, or snowmobiling, there's never a shortage of winter sports to partake in. And when you embrace a winter sport, the season can actually go by very quickly. It's all a matter of perspective. Number three, Use the time indoors to learn a new skill and make your home a place of warmth. Winter gives us more time to focus on ourselves and our home. Learn to paint like the next Van Gogh. Take classes to learn how to code and redirect your bedroom to do some early spring cleaning. Number four, take the time to finally go see the indoor activities what you missed out on to all year. These city hidden gems that we haven't been able to get to because life gets too busy. Number five, invest in proper clothing and the cold won't feel so bad anymore. As they say, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing choices. Make sure to have a proper winter jacket, boots, gloves, and a toque. Otherwise, you'll be complaining and miserable when it gets cold. Winter gives us an opportunity to step outside of our comfort zone and experience something new throughout the year. If you brave into the cold and learn to embrace what winter has to offer, who knows, maybe it'll soon become a season you can actually look forward to. So being the nation's capital and being in Canada, hockey holds a special place in our heart. In fact, I'm actually here at the ODR, the outdoor rink, which is public rinks throughout Ottawa that you can actually go and enjoy during the winter time. And they have, some have boards and lights and of course, uh, this meshing here for when you miss the net but this is actually just a great spot for families to come together enjoy skate and have just great fun and we also have indoor rinks as well where actually organized competitive hockey can take place or even pickup hockey or as we call it shinny hockey so it just adds so much flavor and I'm actually standing on a rink right here as well so there's all this public skating area which is great for families so there you guys have it. Everything to do with your family in the winter in Ottawa, Canada. If you're thinking about making a relocation, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. Moving to Ottawa or anywhere in Canada. And each and every week we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care. Take care. Number one, look like snow removal. Traffic jams, usually seen in the worst in the downtown core, and I really miss because we actually have made a copy and we'll frappy, happy, happy, and we could easily, easily email that over to you. <laughs> no, apparently easy to email, but I can't speak it.